Hi, Assalamualaikum. For those who are new here, I'm Onya Atta and this is Atta Touch. Today, I will share with you how to make a DIY clay dish. Some people call it a ring dish, jewelry tray or trinket tray. And function dia adalah untuk hold your ring and jewelry. Dish ni orang selalu letak kat atas dressing table untuk letak kat cincin ke gelang ke. And normally orang letak dish ni dekat tepi sink. So that bila kita buka cincin untuk basuh tangan ke, basuh pinggan ke, kita tak telah hilang cincin kita kan. I'll be showing you four style of this dish. So this is what you need for this first style. Here I have air dried clay from Artpack and it's written paper clay on it. I'm not sure about the other brand but for me this one the color is a bit off. It's not totally white. So we start by cutting a portion of this clay depends on the size of dish that we're gonna do. Then we have to knead it a bit to soften the clay. Bila dah lembut, penyek-penyekkan dia sikit bagi lepek and then rollkan dia. Saya tak ada roller so I just use this bottle. Bila roll tu, uh, make sure terbalik-terbalikkan dia juga uh, so that dia tak melekat kat meja. If you have other surface to work with macam cutting board extra ke, plastic card ke kan, uh, you can use that. So nanti tak adalah meja kotor and nak potong pun nanti senang. So kita boleh stop roll bila kita dapat ketebalan yang kita nak. Lebih kurang tebal macam ni. Next, ambil bekas yang sama saiz dengan saiz yang kita nak buat untuk dish ni Then tekapkan and lebihkan dalam 1.5 cm dari saiz yang tadi tu And then potongkan dia For this style, the cut doesn't have to be a perfect circle So agak-agak je potongnya Because I'm doing this directly on a table So bila nak potong tu, I didn't really cut all the way through Sebab I don't want to scratch the table so what I did was, after taking out the excess clay, I used a scissors to get a cleaner cut. After that, use your finger and rub on all the uneven and rough surface to smooth it out. If your clay is starting to dry and this stuff is hard for you to do, it will help if you dab a little bit of water on the particular surface. When you are done with that, ambil pencil yang tumpul untuk carve your initial on it. Here, I'm carving my name, which is Atta, and instead of trying to write normally, try to press down little by little, like what I'm doing here. Now, ambil bekas yang kita guna tadi and use it as a mold for your dish. Put the container at the center of the clay and then flip it over. And then, gently press your clay to the shape of the container. If there's any crack along the way, just uh, gosok-gosok pakai jari macam tadi. And when you are happy with the shape, letak tepi and tunggu dia kering seharian. Kalau boleh, elakkan letak under direct sunlight sebab uh, nanti dia akan cepat sangat kering and the clay can crack. So this one kita tunggu kering dulu, moving on to the next style. This is what you need. So start dia sama juga macam tadi, penyekkan and then rollkan dia sampai dapat the thickness that you want. Then ambil container tadi and tekatkan saiz yang kita nak. Tadi kita dah buat bulat, so sekarang kita buat square pula. Again, smoothkan tepi-tepi dia and any cracks yang ada guna jari. I've tried this style guna daun tapi tak jadi sebab daun tu nipis sangat. So I use this flower instead. Tak tahulah apa nama bunga ni tapi biasanya kita dapat dalam hand bouquet. Kalau untuk siapa yang nak pakai daun tu, kalau boleh pakai daun yang tebal and lagi banyak urat lagi cantik. Lepas kita dah dapat arrangement flower yang kita suka, press the flower into the clay using the roller. Do this a few times sampai rasa bunga tu dah masuk dalam clay. Repeat this step with the other one. Next, macam tadi, letak atas container and then press hujung dia gently. And pinch a bit at the corner making it pointy. And ketepikan, tunggu kering. Next, for the marble style, this is what you need. First, take a quarter portion of your clay and mix it with black colour. I'm using acrylic. You can also use watercolour or food colouring yang water-based. Apa-apa colour lah, as long as it's water-based, I think you should be fine. Mixkan dia sampai sebati. This step is a bit messy. Awal-awal dia, dia akan melekit-melekit and susah nak mix. Tapi lama-lama okay. I ended up adding more of the black colour. And when you are happy with the colour, boleh cuci tangan and then continue with the next step. Lepas tu bahagi dua with uneven volume and roll it into a sausage like what I'm doing here. As for the white, roll three sausage out of it. 
Sekarang susun selang-seli and then sekalikan making it a uh, one big sausage. Sambil picit sambil twistkan dia making it a swirl. Letak atas meja and rollkan dia bagi lagi panjang. Sambil tu twistkan lagi. Then lipat dua and rollkan lagi repeat around three times. Last kali swirlkan dia macam ni and then make a ball. Next rollkan dia sampai dapat size and thickness yang kita nak. Dah jadi macam ni, bolehlah tengok which side do you like the most untuk jadikan belah atas dish ni. Potongkan dia ikut saiz yang kita nak. Lepas tu, smoothkan tepi-tepi dia. Letakkan dia dalam piring yang melengkung macam ni and gently press bagi dia ikut shape piring tadi. So, when you are happy with the look, put aside untuk keringkan. For this last style, you just need this and the color of your choice. For this style, it did not actually go as how I imagine it to be. Sebab ada tu salah step sikit. However, I love how this dish turn out. We start by cutting the edge with whatever shape you want the base to be. Then roll thinly a piece of clay to make a long string like this. Lightly water around the clay using a brush. Then take the long string of clay and gently press it along that wet clay. This water will act as a glue to stick the string. Cut off the excess and gently rub the clay using your finger to join the string together. Add water if necessary. Press down the string gently making sure it sticks to the base clay. Brush on a generous amount of water at every corner of the joint. Tadi kan saya cakap it didn't turn out how I planned sebab sebenarnya nak buat macam ni. With this pattern I found in Pinterest. So kiranya black line tu yang akan timbul. But I thought, hmm, kalau buat background dulu, mesti lagi kemas kan? So, I plan to do the black line yang timbul tu kemudian and biar je dia kering macam ni dulu. Silap besar. Sebab bila dah kering, susah lah nak dekat clay lain. Apatah lagi nak lekat atas akrilik. Nanti saya tunjuk how it turn out. So, on the next day, bila clay kita dah kering. So, this is the look for the first style after dia dah kering. I use a gold acrylic color to color the name. Actually, you can use any color you want and that will create a different look. Contohnya, hitam or merah for a bolder look and pastel color will give a softer touch. As you can see here, saya color juga keliling dia untuk nampak lagi kemas. So, this is it. You can stop here or boleh juga tambah another coat untuk bagi dia waterproof. For this one, I use resin which you need to mix A and B. I did one layer of resin, tapi bila dia kering, dia macam meresap. I'm happy with this look, tapi ada part yang resin dia tebal, so terpaksa buat lagi satu layer. For this impress style, I use gold to color the flower part and green to color the rest of the dish. Again, it's up to you to use any color you want. For a cheaper and easier alternative that you can use as a coating is clear nail polish. I bought this nail polish for art purpose just for 3 ringgit. Sebabkan dia dah lama, lukit dia jadi pekat sikit. So, I add some nail polish remover dalam bekas tu and then mix untuk cairkan dia. For this marble style, saya gunakan hitam and warnakan tepi keliling dish ni. This is how it looks like. To finish it off, saya gunakan resin. Untuk style yang keempat, nilai rupa dia lepas dicat. I also finished this one using resin. Before I reveal the finishing product, so this is the comparison between the finishing. That's all for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. 
So tell me which style do you like the most at the comment section below. I'll be posting more DIY like this. So don't forget to subscribe. Also don't forget to check out my previous video. Hope to see you on my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Assalamualaikum.